Do you remember the medium format? If not, then you're not alone. It's been many years since camera lovers have seen any of these cameras. Medium format roll film is still available from specialty shops and photographic laboratories, yet it's not as universal as 135 or 35mm film. The 620 format was introduced by Kodak in 1931 as an alternative to the 120, which was later discontinued in 1995. Amidst all this, Pentax is planning to bring the successor of their famous 645Z medium format, so why now? And can Pentax successfully execute this big step? Well, let's find out. The Pentax 645Z medium format camera is a much-loved camera among photographers who require a large sensor for their work. It's been around for a while now and many photographers have been wondering whether Pentax will release a successor to the popular camera. According to reports, Pentax has not yet decided which lenses will be updated but there's a possibility that a new camera will be released which will not be a mirrorless model. This may come as a surprise to some as many camera manufacturers have been shifting towards mirrorless designs in recent years. The reasons for this shift are varied but one of the main benefits of a mirrorless design is that it allows for a smaller, lighter camera. This is because the camera does not need a mirror box to reflect light from the lens into the viewfinder but instead an electronic viewfinder is used to display the image. If Pentax were to switch to a mirrorless design, it would be necessary to create a whole new set of lenses which might not be feasible for many years. Therefore, it's likely that the 645Z will remain a DSLR. One of the things that Pentax is considering for the new camera is a new sensor. No specific details have been disclosed yet, but it's been suggested that if the resolution of the new camera exceeds the current 50 megapixel sensor, Older 645 FA lenses may not be compatible with the new sensor. This may concern some photographers who have invested in the 645Z and the FA lenses, but it's important to note that the current 50 megapixel sensor is already capable of producing excellent images and likely any new sensor will also produce outstanding results. Despite rumors that the 645Z may be discontinued, it's still being sold at a discount and is capable of producing excellent images. It gathered praises for its weather seal design which allows users to take the camera outside even in harsh weather conditions. The camera is also known for its value and its price tag is considered to be quite reasonable especially given its capabilities. There is no arguing that even today, the 50 megapixel camera is more than capable of producing outstanding images. Being the first weather seal medium format camera to market that supported taking the studio outdoors, the prices above are a good deal. One of the things that Pentax is known for is its commitment to its customers. The company has a loyal customer base and it has been praised for its customer service. Pentax has indicated that it is not keen on going mirrorless with its new camera as it would not be fair to customers who have invested in existing lenses. It's a commendable approach as it shows that Pentax is committed to its customers and is willing to take the needs and concerns into account. Only time can tell whether this approach will be successful in the long term as mirrorless cameras are becoming increasingly popular. One of the potential drawbacks of the 645Z is its weight. It's a relatively heavy camera which may not be ideal for photographers who need to carry their equipment with the team for long periods. But this is a minor issue when compared to the camera's many strengths. The camera is also known for its autofocus capabilities since its fast and accurate autofocus system can track moving subjects with ease. This makes it an excellent camera for sports and wildlife photography. The Pentax 645Z is also known for its excellent image quality. The article suggests that despite the advancements in the modern mirrorless camera markets such as the Fujifilm GFX 50S2 and Fujifilm GFX 100S, Pentax is still considering the development of a non-mirrorless successor to the Pentax 645Z. However, this non-mirrorless camera success will depend on its cost and the ability to compete in the current market. Although mirrorless cameras are currently dominant in the market, the availability of medium format backs with up to 80 and 100 megapixels that can be used with mechanical cameras suggests that there is still potential for non-mirrorless cameras. And if things go according to the plan, we might get to see new age for medium format. So, are you excited about the Pentax's new upcoming medium format camera? 
Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.